I'm Danny Crowley. I am the project manager for the Leonard Stock Centre. We are a 36 bedroom unit, including the safe space unit. So the temporary accommodation units are overseen by housing. So uh, local authority would place people into them through temporary accommodation. So they might be seen by local authority. Uh, local authority deems them of needing a duty there and then. Uh, but also sees that they need support. So they might need 24 hour support. So this could be somebody who's suffering with chronic mental health conditions or uh, has a learning disability or um, you know needs support with uh, health conditions and stuff like that. And we have 22 hostel beds that have ensuite bathrooms and stuff that are um, allocated for a referral process. We have six support workers and two mental health support workers plus four night support workers. Generally, what we find is the, the people that are on the street and accessing services are pretty complex. They've got mental health conditions, uh, drug and alcohol issues, or um, you know abuse and, and, and stuff like that. We have about 120 people come through the hostel a year, um, but that's not the amount of people we see and we help. So in the regions of about 70 or 80 people a week that we support with various different things, including the people that live here. We run benefit surgery, we have a GP surgery, we have a nurse. Tesh is more of a um, uh, an idea, and it, it's more of a group of people um, from a group of organisations that are all, um, if you like, singing off the same hymn sheet. So they're all signed up to end in street homeless. So we uh, got all the agencies and all the kind of charities and everybody from statutory providers all the way through to people that were just you know going out and and giving people food on the streets all involved the local community went out into the community and um and 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 talked to everyone that was actually out on the street it was a massive piece of work it was a great piece of work um the outcomes from it helped us to identify out on the street who needed working with like as quickly as possible and and got to them and, and actually from the first test, everybody on that, um, on that week was seen and spoken to or housed. How, how do you tell the community to help the homeless? Well, the homeless are the community. For me, it's about understanding that everybody in the community is somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's mother. There's a lot of roots into homelessness and a lot of roots into um, the issues that people that are homeless end up with. And that's the difference, I think. You know, it can be catastrophic becoming homeless. So, it, you know, one minute you're all right and everything's fine, and the next minute you're not and you're street homeless. We need a community response, and they are part of our community, everybody that's living out there in the street.